I think that's it. There he is. <laughs> you guys ready? Let's pull it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Hey! And JB's on there! 600! 600! Yeah. Yes! Yay! Yeah. 600 miles on. Let me just so here we are, back with the real supercharger. Okay, we are on the test track. They'd recommend uh, putting your head on the headrest. Okay. <laughs> there he's ready. Nope. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh. <laughs> oh, that never gets old either. We have the post thirty production cars here. Yeah, oh yeah, you watch it. Well, why is he gonna throw it? I don't know, but we're gonna watch her. Yeah. Just oh, I'm Eric, otherwise known as Derek, here in Shanghai at Gigafactory 3. Ballapalooza. It's like tricks. Generic cornflakes. Whoa! <laughs> it's raining cornflakes! Oh. This is trippy. Look, there's nothing here. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is um, September 13th. 
Welcome everybody. Um, it's been a week. Well, not really, because we actually had a midweek uh, live stream for the Lucid unveiling, so it's only been a few days. True, um, but it's been a busy week. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, crazy busy week. It's a lot of stuff uh, to kind of cover. Um, we have some other fun stuff that we'll talk about at the end of the stream. Um, let's see, let me just make sure all is good here before we get going and we are all good. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the news and everything. And then as soon as we're done with all that, we will go ahead and open it up and just kind of chat with you guys. Hopefully everyone is doing well and, uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. First off, um, have a couple referrals to thank. Um, we have... People that have used David's code, Janet, Joseph, Amanda, Paul, thank you. Um, Jonathan and Joseph on mine. And then solar referrals, we have Brandon, Justin, Ryan, and Matthew. If you are looking to use a uh, solar referral, if you would love love to use mine, that would be great. Um, that way uh, we can just kind of put all those on one account. Yeah, and if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask right here in chat or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you with either any Tesla questions, you know, Tesla cars or solar. Yep, 100%. Um, and then let's see, uh, watch rebuilds. Thank you for the mail. I got it. Love it. Great stickers. Um, and then, yeah, so on to the news, we kind of talked about it a little bit on Wednesday, but electrify America was shut down on probably one of the busiest travel days of the year. Yeah, we mentioned this on Wednesday when we were on, but basically the uh, somebody noticed over in like North Carolina, Virginia area, the whole corridor going north and south that was shut down and they contacted Electrify America and they said, oh, we're, they're shut down for like an upgrade. And uh, we saw similar things too. We looked at superchargers in our area and, uh, sorry, not superchargers, the Electrify America locations, and they were down as well. And I don't know if it was the same upgrade as there or, they, you know, they were talking about hardware upgrades versus software upgrades, but it's really inconvenient for them to do that on a Labor Day weekend, which is one of the busiest travel days of the year. Yeah, it it was just weird though that they were shut down doing mm. their upgrades. And it's just like, were they really doing an upgrade or yeah. were they having technical problems and they just claimed it was an upgrade? I don't know, but it's pretty bad when, when a network like that goes down because the, you know, other cars besides Tesla's, that's their only, well, there's other networks out there. Yeah. But, but uh, you know, it's weird because Tesla on holidays will often send out additional superchargers on pallets to busy locations. Yep. And here we see another one having kind of the opposite. It just, it just kind of blew my mind. If you're gonna upgrade something, but a lot of people weekend. are going to be using on a very busy travel weekend. Yeah. Why would you pick that weekend? Yeah. And why would you do so many at once? You think you'd do it like one location so exactly. people could maybe skip that location but do the next one, but you wouldn't take them down on the entire corridor. But really bad timing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, terrible timing. But uh, we don't know when they'll be back up. A lot of people have been speculating they might be down for a few months, which is going to be really bad. So I guess we'll kind of keep an eye on this and see how things go uh if you are one of the affected uh parties from this uh really apologize that would really suck i would say maybe try a tesla but um yeah <laughs> um so i guess one of our roommates had said the video is skipping but everything looks good here we're, we're excellent um, is any, yeah, so let us know if you're seeing any video issues. Uh, it says it has excellent quality, but uh, and we have like 100 megabit per second internet, so hopefully they're not seeing issues. Yeah, we should be good. Um, uh, Winston said it's messing up here, and a bunch of other people said hmm. we're good. Interesting. So well. I guess we'll just keep going. Um, le next up, so um, we have... A, a, it's not too big of an issue, but it is kind of a big issue for superchargers out in Europe. Turns out, if you have a Tesla, you get charged to use them. But if you have a non-Tesla, you can actually use superchargers in Europe for free. Currently on the V3 superchargers. So the v in Europe, they start out with, with uh, older superchargers, which had a proprietary port, just like they do in the US. Well, I should say non-CCS port. But when Tesla started rolling out the V3 superchargers in Europe, they used the CCS port uh, on those V3 superchargers. And previously, only Teslas could use those and you know they would be billed if you were charged for it or you would get free supercharging if that you were still 
uh, locked in if you had the adapter and you did the upgrade on your older car. But it uh, turns out some uh, non-Tesla owners went and tried it out and they found that it was working on on a bunch of different ones. So I don't know, yeah, if this was a, I think it was like a temporary bug, but it sounds like they might have fixed it to basically lock it back down so that uh, those non-Tesla cars couldn't use it anymore. It's, it does show, though, that you know, if cars, these other companies did want to team with Tesla and use a supercharger network, it's totally possible. They just need to pay for it somehow. Yeah, and it is nice to know that, yeah, you can actually utilize it. At least in your but- <laughs> You, you need to pay for it, obviously. And yeah, it was only for that CCS adapter. It wasn't for the Tesla proprietary one. So there is also that to keep in mind. But it was still kind of interesting because we've seen some videos and f- photos floating around of non-Teslas charging at a Tesla supercharger. And it turns out most of those, they took the guts of a Tesla and put it into a different car. Uh, one of those, I believe, was a Karma. Yep. And... Um, there are a couple other cars that people have done it to. It's not easy, but at least this is not that case at the moment. Um, let's see. Also, we have a, a little bit of battle of the car manufacturers coming up. Audi claims first tri-motor production EV. Um, currently, the Audi has a model called, let me just l- make sure I have this right. The e-tron S yeah. and the e-tron S Sportback, which are supposed to be coming out later this year, and they will feature a tri-motor design. Now, doing some research on this, the total output in the S gear is 503 horsepower and is available, oh, and 973 newton meters of torque and is available for up to eight seconds at a time. It's weird. Which results in a 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, which is 62 miles an hour, for those of you here in the States, in 4.5 seconds. Which is awfully slow. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, you for think having for, three, for motors. three motors, you think they could do a little bit better than that. But it's interesting, too, that they say they're going to have the first tri motor. So it's kind of a race because we know that Cybertruck is supposed to have a tri motor. It's supposed to be coming out next year. And. Also, we, we heard that Lucid Air is going to be having tri-motor, and they're supposed to be coming out next year. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see which one really makes it out. Yeah, it's going to be kind First. of like a battle. Currently, Audi says they'll have it out by the end of the year, which means technically they probably would. But then between Lucid and the Cybertruck... I guess we'll have to let them duke it out and see who can get it out first in 2021. And hopefully Tesla is listening and uh, we'll kind of get that Cybertruck going a little bit. Um, I'm seeing some people say the video is perfect. Some people say... It's glitchy. I wonder if it might be a YouTube problem. Yeah, I wonder if it's YouTube or like a network. Like if it's you know, who, whoever, whatever. I'm trying to say the word. Whatever internet provider. internet provider they have. I wonder if that might be the issue. Yeah. So hopefully it is okay where you are. Sorry if it's a little glitchy. We're gonna blame YouTube on this one. Yeah. That's we what haven't we're changed going anything. With. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. And so. Uh, up next, we have Teslify and other sites um, that have been using Tesla's API. We're actually down on September 10th. Yeah, for like 12 hours. And <laughs> yeah. This is something, you know, we had mentioned a couple weeks ago on our stream how Apple was starting to block apps, third-party apps, from using uh, Tesla's APIs because they weren't officially licensed to use those. And then we noticed that uh, uh, over the past couple of days, uh, Teslafy and many other sites were reporting that problems, and they were basically not able to use those APIs as well. It turns out uh, Tesla looks like they blocked like uh, pr- uh, cloud services like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Services, and Microsoft Azure, and they were just blocking all the requests coming from those sites. People who were still hosting uh, apps uh, themselves were still able to use the APIs, but it's just interesting. Tesla is, I think they're try- it's trying to lock these down, and this is something we theorized a few weeks back. Are they going to start officially licensing these out and requiring these third-party sites to pay for use of the APIs, or are they just going to bring it all in-house and take care of all that themselves? Yeah, and I mean, we've kind of been seeing this maybe coming for a little while, but it would be interesting if Tesla... I mean, they could literally turn all these off at once if they yeah. really wanted to. and that's to. what I was saying a couple of weeks ago. I would be scared to have a business that was unofficially using these APIs because if you're making, you know, if you have tens of thousands of customers and you're relying on unofficial, you know, backdoor access yeah. to somebody's APIs, they could totally turn you off and your business would be gone instantly. Yeah, and the only thing I would like to see, though, is if maybe Tesla would do, like, 
checks on all these apps and make sure their security is up to par. Yeah. And that's because what, that's like my biggest fear. And that's what something it could be related to like the two-factor authentication. Yeah. Uh, perhaps this is the first day, that, you know, maybe there, uh, someone tweeted Elon a while back, where is two-factor authentication? And he said it's coming sooner. So maybe that's something we'll be seeing here in the next uh, quarter. Uh, basically just a way to make your Tesla account more secure. Yeah. So I guess we'll kind of see what happens with that. But for now, it's kind of where we're at. Um, let's see here. Next up. So this has kind of been making the rounds a little bit and everyone's been kind of blowing up on this and that's the trim in, in the, Model the y. front of the Model Y, which holds a, a piece. I believe it's the, uh, oh, I just had the it like on my mind. Cooling condenser or something Yeah, like cool, that. a condenser. And it's kind of been blowing up because everyone's freaking out about this because it's a little plastic piece. Oh, wrong camera. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be the screen. Yeah. So anyway, this is our first Model Y and what it had. It had this condenser was wrapped in tape and then it had these plastic pieces with a metal wrap around and it. Basically that, that strap and those pieces are basically, it looks to keep the uh, condenser like tight so it doesn't wobble around, you know, at high speeds and stuff like that. And exactly. So, so this is our first Model Y that we took delivery of in March of this year. Yep. And then this is the new one which looks to be like a PVC or some kind of plastic uh, like angle cover. Yeah, so similar, but not exactly the same. So you can see that they've changed different parts. Well, somebody online took a look at theirs and they found something that looked like wood. And, and this is basically what ours looks like, except ours is white. White, yeah. So it's not real wood, it's like simulated wood, but it's yeah. some sort of like corner molding or something like that yep. that Tesla used. And, and while it does look odd and cheap, um, it should get the job done, I, I think. And it's basically, I think they did this because they didn't want to shut the line down. Yeah. Uh, you know, back in you know like March and April when the factory was shut down, there's probably all the parts suppliers were shut down as well. And Tesla basically looks like they, they improvised and used another part that would get the job done and probably didn't cost very much and it allowed them to keep the lines running. Yeah, and then here's actually what people have been seeing lately also. But these pieces are actually just like packing material. So I actually was able to, David looked it up and it's edge protectors. And on this website, you can get a thousand of them at six cents a piece. So it's, it's very. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've gotten those and stuff we've had delivered to us. hundred so percent. Yeah. So it is interesting though, that they are switching a few things and it might've been because things were, uh, maybe going in and out of stock or yeah. something they could buy a lot of pretty cheap because all they need is something to kind of spread out that pressure. Yeah, and, and I know this is really blowing up. A lot of websites are covering it, but I'm not too concerned about it because basically it's just a it's just kind of to hold the piece in place. It's not something, it's not like a wheel. They didn't take the wheel and swap it with something else. It's just something to keep the part from vibrating. So it, it looks maybe a little cheap, but 99.9% of people are never going to see that because you exactly. have to remove parts to get into your frunk. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it, but I'm sure that if there is a problem with it, if they do find that there is an issue, there'll be a service bulletin, uh, you know, in the future where they would swap that out for free. Cause it, I'm sure it would be covered under warranty, yeah. but I don't think it could cause any problems really. Yeah. It's I have real. no issue with it yeah. to be honest. Any of them, they all look fine to me and accomplish the job that it needs to. Um, and next up, uh, real quick, uh, watch Rebuild channel. Thank you uh, for the $5 super chat. Said your shirts look a little wrinkled through the video. Maybe it's the snow. LOL. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, mm, I it's pretty clear. Yours wrinkled? <laughs> Mine not wrinkled. Actually, both of ours have like lines kind of going across. Yeah, so maybe that's yeah we, have, we have lines. Yep. That's what we're going to say. But we did have a little snow on, on Monday. We'll talk about that uh, when we get to the solar stuff. Yep. Um, next up, we have some news from a Bloomberg article that Sh Giga Shanghai is going to start exporting cars to other Asian markets as well as Europe potentially, yeah. which is pretty crazy. Yeah, because it's to interesting because when Elon first announced Shanghai production, he said that was going to only be serving like the Chinese market. Yeah, but, and so it's interesting they're going to start serving other parts of Asia and Europe. And and while some people might think that oh that means the demand's not high enough. Eh, it, it, they're still ramping up, I guess. We'll see uh, what it is. But I think it's good because that means that, the, especially like in the Fremont factory, they're not going to have to keep shutting down the line to make European produ production and keep swapping back and forth. So I think that should help with quality mm -hmm. and also the uh, build times in the U.S. Exactly. And it also, like part of the headline was, currently buyers must wait for a car to come from California. Well, 
Giga Shanghai is definitely a lot closer to other Asian markets it, and yeah. potentially Europe. So hopefully that will actually speed people's delivery times up, which is, I know a lot of people complain about it. So this would hopefully fix that, which would be great. Um, next up, let me grab this video because this is kind of interesting to me. Uh, oh, it's stuck. Great. Um, so there's been a lot going on at Fremont in the kind of the general area. And it has been caught in a video. It's kind of has like two things here. One, hopefully they're gearing up Project Roadrunner for Battery Day, which is coming up in nine days. Oh, yeah. Next next two, Tuesday, I believe. Yep. Right? Yeah. Nine days. So I can't wait for that. That should be fun. But somebody actually has a drone footage here. I'm going to go ahead and play that real quick. And in here, there's um, something special. Here is obviously their Project Roadrunner uh, facility, which is right next to their factory in Fremont. But they fly over to Fremont, and all of a sudden, you see these pieces right here, which if anything leads us to believe what those are, those are the first of the single cast rear oh. uh, um, parts for, for, for the Model, Model y. y. For the Model Y, yeah. And like looking at those, they are clearly one piece. So those could be like the very first like, what do they call those parts? Like the first like demo parts or yeah. like manufacturing parts so that they can make sure the machine is all lined up and everything. That could very well be it, which would be insane because they just got that thing moved in, what, a couple months ago? Yeah, yeah. And if it's already producing parts like that, that's absolutely wild. So that was actually great to see. So um, Gabe and Cal has a YouTube channel, and they did that drone work. So huge thanks to them uh, for that. But, yeah, pretty awesome to see. Hopefully it does come soon. And then next up... Uh, Cybertruck. So we kind of put that in the title because we want to talk about that. Everyone wants to know where their Cybertruck is, when it's going to be delivered, me included. But um, here we have Tesla Roddy actually did an article and they actually got a presentation from Travis County that actually talks about when it would be uh, ramping up production. And currently, Tesla is planning on trial production in may of 2021 once they have everything kind of set up now this is not that far away yeah so a couple reasons why we think that they could potentially be so far ahead here and this fact gigafactory would be up and running faster than any of tesla's factories thus far is they don't need a paint building Cybertruck doesn't need it. At least not for the Cybertruck. I mean, eventually they're going to yeah. be making Model Y production there. But for Cybertruck production, they could start doing that before having a paint facility. Built. Exactly. And then also, the Cybertruck does not need any pieces of the exterior of the body stamped. And that's one thing that all their models have. And stamping takes time. It takes a lot of Especially time to put those machines yeah. in and get them all dialed in. This doesn't need that because we have that special steel exoskeleton. So, fingers crossed, but we could potentially be seeing cyber trucks. I'd say less than a year, maybe September of next year, like yeah. ones manufacturing ones available for for delivery. You know? I'm hoping July. So, so May, you know, I bet it's May, June, July. Them uh, doing those test mules and stuff, yep. and then uh, maybe a few employee ones get delivered. But then, you know, maybe July, August, start doing some regular production uh, manufacturing, and maybe have them available in August or September of next year. Yeah, I mean, I'm super excited to see that it could potentially be as early as May is even better. Um, Currently, we've been hearing Rivian is supposed to start delivering in June of 2021. So maybe if Tesla could speed it up a little bit, maybe we could get deliveries the same month as Rivian. That would be pretty dope, actually. Um, and then let's see. Last 
Uh, we have some other things we'll talk about after the solar update. Okay, yeah, for solar this week, it wasn't the best week. But the week. solar. Yeah, so for those of you maybe tuned in with us on Wednesday, we had, we were in like 90 degrees Fahrenheit on Monday, and, uh, you know, nice warm Labor Day, and, and we got this notification that our power walls had kicked on early in the morning, and as Eric's showing you the graph there, uh, the power walls kicked on and started charging from the grid, which was because there was actually a winter storm warning that was taking effect uh, later that night. And while we had a almost perfect solar day that day, we did generate a lot of solar, the power walls well charged up and then they stayed charged so that, that uh, you know, if the grid did go down, we'd be okay. And then uh, we did have like snow all day on uh, Tuesday and we had only like three kilowatt hours produced and then on Wednesday, you know, you still had the panels covered up, so we only have the one kilowatt hour. So pretty, pretty low production for like three days in a row. But then uh, once the snow melted off, we had a lot of good sun. So while it wasn't the best week, we did still have a surplus for the week, and um, uh, you know we still are. In, you know, uh, we, yeah, we had 245 kilowatt hours produced or sent to the grid, and we took 234. So almost broke even, but we still have a surplus. And for the year, we're still doing really great. And we actually still have a surplus of 5,105 kilowatt hours for the for the year. And basically, again, when we do have those those snowstorms, which help uh, reduce our production, it's okay. We still won't have an electric bill because we have the 5,100 kilowatt hours surplus. And one other thing that was weird, Eric, on, if you go back to that one today's graph, oh okay, which was the second one, uh, we had we noticed something interesting today. And I don't know if people can see what's weird with this graph, but we were getting production of about nine kilowatt hours, close to ten, when we were out in the dog walk. But then when we got home, it was down. I was like, hmm, that's kind of odd because it's not cloudy outside. And I just kept watching it for the next couple of hours, and you could see that it was still c curving up. And I was like, that's not right. So I went out and I checked, and we actually have four inverters. And I went out and checked when one of them had actually gone offline. And so I had to like reboot one of our inverters, and it fixed it. And you can see it instantly jumped up uh, to almost 16 kilowatts. But um, yeah, something we haven't seen before. But uh, you know, you can see there was also when we had a little outage around noon. That's related to our transformer problems we're having with our utility. But good news is we did hear from Tesla today that uh, we should be getting our new transformer installed uh, about two to three weeks, uh, sometime in early October. So that should stop with those uh, outages, those fake outages that our grid is reporting, or our power wall is reporting due to the bad power from the grid. That is the most exciting thing about this solar update. Yeah. Is we finally have a date where they're going to be changing and installing our... Uh, new transformer. New transformer. And we're just Thank hoping you. that that and fixes yeah. the issue. We hope that it's a larger capacity transformer because right now I think we have like five or six houses all on one 25 kilovolt amp uh, transformer, which might be good if you don't, ha you know, 50 years ago that might have been good, but now it's like that's not sufficient. And uh, we're just hoping that, that we either get a higher capacity transformer or they add another one to work alongside that one. Yeah, so hopefully in about, I don't know, by in about a month we should know yeah. for sure whether or not that fixed everything. Yep. Fingers crossed. Um, we are nearing the end for that because it's been, what, going on nine months now? Yeah, we didn't really start having the problem until about five months ago, but we've had the new solar installed for n for nine months, yeah. So, fingers crossed we can get it done soon. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all the Tesla news. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk about in terms of other EV companies. Um, first, we had the Lucid Air unveiling on Wednesday. Overall, um, that video is actually currently being processed by YouTube, so I don't know if you can actually watch it right now because there was a copyright song in there from their live stream, so I had to remove that. So that's currently processing, but hopefully that should be up later tonight. But we, we learned some fun things. We saw some fun things. We saw some things we didn't like, some things we really liked. Um, yeah, overall, overall I it, think it was it's cool. It's a, new, it's a cool new product. Yeah, I just think it's that the, the one they're coming out with is way too expensive. Uh, it, it, I, now that seeing that the price of the Model S is X and dropped, and the Y and the three are out, I would never consider paying one hundred sixty nine thousand dollars for yeah. a car like that. But it, but they've got some cool new features. I, I must admit, and a larger battery and and you know some good specs. Uh, I didn't really like the styling overall. The inside was really nice, but I didn't really like the outside. Yeah, I mean, the front looked really good. I wasn't a huge fan of the rear. Um, I like the two seats in the back, if you never need to hold three oh, the people. Executive seating, yeah. The executive seat, like lay flat, those looked really nice. Uh, obviously going to kill your trunk storage a little bit, but 
super happy with that. A couple things just seemed a little gimmicky to me. Having the center screen kind of like rotate up and in just is like one other thing to kind of break. Yeah. And also um, it seems like you have to wait for that because right now yeah. when you get in the car, you can just, like on a Tesla, you can instantly touch the screen do something. If you have to wait for a couple seconds to come down, that's going to limit. Yeah. yeah. But so, definitely yeah. should kind of go after that high-end premium market just like Tesla did with the original SNX. So... It's just a matter of will this actually work now that Tesla has lower priced EVs on the market. I, I still think it's going to work for Lucid because you still have that high end clientele and market that wants those. And hopefully that will actually bring in some money for Lucid to do some other things. But the cool thing with this is competition. Competition is key when it comes to any product. If you want the best quality, you want the best tech, you want best everything, you need some competition. So I can't wait to see what Tesla has to respond for the Plaid S and X variants, uh, hopefully on battery day, fingers yeah. crossed. Um, but yeah, I, I really think the whole competition thing is definitely for the better. Um, sorry, I was reading some chat things. Uh, a lot going on about rich rebuilds in there, <laughs> a lot. So I'm gonna let you guys have fun with that. Um, last thing I want to talk about is Nikola. And if you're not familiar with Nikola Motors, um, I'll tell you they've sued Tesla for $2 billion, I think it was, um, for their Cybertruck. And yeah, that's the cyber wasn't it the semi? Or sorry, the semi. Semi. And it's, it's been a nasty couple days. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop this link in chat, and we can kind of talk about this. I kind of want to call it a hit piece. But at the same point, like, it's not necessarily a hit piece, but take everything you read with a grain of salt because it is from somebody who has done this research and decided to short their stock based on the research. But it sounds like the gentleman, Trevor, who is, I believe, the founder and executive chairman, um, he's a shady individual. Um, so according, according to this article. According we, to this article. <laughs> Don't sue me or no. do. I don't really care. No, we don't. We don't. I don't um, think about this. But like based on this article, it's OK. It's crazy long. So obviously we're not going to get into all of it. But a lot of it really calls everything into question and makes me wonder how the company's actually going to survive this. Yeah. Not yeah. only is their stock price tanked yeah. since all this, because if you look at it, this article didn't just come out and make claims. They came out, made claims, and have backup. Yeah, it's that's it, the tricky part. It's interesting. You know, we've seen similar articles about Tesla and other manufacturers in the past, but but and you know, we've discussed Nikola in the past and how we're not too hip or you know, we're not too into the uh, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Just to, I don't see the the point. I mean, it is nice. It's an alternative to fully electric, but I don't like the idea of having to go and buy hydrogen fuel someplace else exactly it's not something that you can like readily create your own at home yeah affordably, affordably. um and it, it still is cheaper than gasoline and diesel but it still isn't like fully clean so i still have a lot of issues just with the, it trying to extract or produce it just takes more electricity to produce exactly it and then ship it and transport it and all that is it why know, use that electricity why to not produce just, that just when have you a battery use that yeah, in your car and, yeah i don't so that's kind of how we feel about it. Anyway, though, I would highly recommend reading that if the whole Nikola Motors thing is of interest to you because I found it highly interesting. It probably took me several hours to get through it all, so definitely wait for a rainy day or time where you don't really need to do anything because it will suck you in and you will end up reading everything and then you can decide what you think. But based on that, it's not looking pretty. So I guess time will tell what happens with Nikola. I heard uh, some theories on some things, and I guess Trevor has since flown out of the country. He has said he was going to mm. combat the claims, and then all of a sudden lawyered up and said, nope, we're not going to talk about anything. We're just going to lawyer up, and I guess they're going after the company who made the article and the SEC. It's turning into this big mess. Wow. It's a nightmare. But I thought it was kind of interesting. It kind of goes in our wheelhouse. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? And uh, thought we'd talk about that a little bit. But now that we have all that done, 
that's it for the news. Um, so if you guys have any questions, anything you want to talk about, or any news maybe that you saw that we haven't... Oh, yeah. Someone said, damn, I just read the bullet points at the top of the article. Going to need some popcorn for the rest of it. You bet. You're going to need a lot of popcorn. Um, but if you guys have any articles or any news updates that we haven't mentioned that you think we're worthy to talk about, definitely drop it in chat. And also, if uh, you have any questions, more than happy to answer anything. Um, let's see real quick. Um, Alex DS said, any updates on Model Y third row seats? Unfortunately, not heard yet. Anything on that. Yeah. But maybe with this single piece cast rear Model Y, maybe you, maybe that will kind of come out of it. So hopefully we hear something on that later this year. Let's see. Tony Stark, love the username, said you can charge the Cyberquad off the truck. Yes, um, that is what uh, we've been told at least. And, that's, and also with the Cybertruck, they mentioned that it would have outlets like 240 volt outlets. So it would be in interesting rear, yeah. if it would be interesting because we saw Lucid Air in their presentation mention vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to grid functionality. Oh, yeah. So it would be cool if the Cybertruck actually came with that functionality as well and allowed you to send some of that power from your, from your battery back into the, your house. Yeah, and Safe. speaking of which, that's another thing that competition is great. We're hoping that Tesla can speed up that project or maybe we'll hear about it at battery day but vehicle to grid and vehicle to vehicle are huge or and vehicle to home which is kind of like the same thing yeah but it's just isolated yeah yeah both are huge and both are something we would love to see tesla do so hopefully if another company is doing it they will also follow suit um brian said is that why gm did the contract i mean the contract seemed to be very much in gm's favor yeah, because didn't they like not invest anything? But they got it was GM a weird. GM invested zero dollars, yeah. but they agreed to let Nikola use their tech, and actually included a seven hundred million dollar contract from Nikola to buy GM parts. Yeah, that's so interesting. They were given a lot <laughs> of money and um, stock for basically nothing. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. The whole thing still doesn't make sense. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, Ibram, hopefully I'm saying that right, um, said, I read somewhere some stations ran out of hydrogen for a while and people with hydrogen cars couldn't use their cars. Exactly. Yep, yep, that was in, in California, California, right? Yeah, and there's very limited, there's yeah. so few hydrogen stations. They're in limited regional areas. And yeah, and and uh, since they are so f spread out, you, you can't really go like two, the 250 miles that you might be capable of on your tank because you have to have enough to get back and refill. And so, yeah, they were having a problem in California in the past. And yeah, and, and we talked about it a little bit on Wednesday <clears throat> that those hydrogen fueling stations are going to be insanely expensive compared to installing a supercharger. So I'm wondering who's going to be building those out and, and how much they're going to have to spend if they are going to be putting a, a hydrogen fueling network across the United States. Exactly. Um, Real quick, I'll have you answer a few questions. I'm going to go grab something that somebody's asking about. Oh, um, oh I'll do the super chat first. Uh, $5 from Watch Rebuilds channel. Thank you very much. Said, what do you think of the aftermarket key fob wearable ring instead of the card for your Model oh. 3 or Y? Well, I'll also grab that too. Yeah. And this other product, and I'll be right back while yeah. David answers some So basically, Eric has, I don't know if you did a video on that before, but we have one of those rings somewhere. We've tried, tested a couple of them, and they work fine. Eric actually doesn't wear it all the time, but there's been times, like, especially on a road trip, uh, when you might be out in the middle of nowhere driving across Utah, and you don't know if... Um, you should have a cell phone, but you never know if your battery dies and stuff. But if he didn't have the regular card with him to start a 3 or a Y, you can have that ring on you. And I know some people have reported, too, like if they like go out surfing or something like that, they can put a ring on and have that available, and then they can use that just to come and kind of hold your knuckle close to the B-pillar, and it'll unlock the car, and then you can t tap the center console and go ahead and start it out. So definitely, we've seen the ceramic ones. They work well. I know some people... We're talking about building or creating a wooden one as well, but I don't know if that one ever came to fruition. But the ones we saw were pretty good, but I know that they varied greatly in price. And, and it seems like some of them were kind of expensive. I don't know, like $100 or so for, for the ring. Um, I don't know if I would need it. But it, 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 the nice thing is it doesn't need batteries. It's kind of like your key card again. It doesn't need any batteries or anything like that. So let's see. So yeah, Eric went to get a, a, a part, I guess. He's basically got an announcement, a special uh, 
like a sneak preview of a video he's doing, I think for tomorrow. And it's basically a new product that's gonna be rolling out and uh, I'm gonna show you guys it first. So let's see. let's see. Okay, yeah, I hear him running down the stairs now. So he must, uh, he, he should be approaching any second. <laughs> there he is. Oh wait, that's not the product I thought you were getting. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have been informed that our microwave has blown up. Oh no. Um, by Scott, who is upstairs Great. cooking. Yeah. So that's exciting. It smells like it blew up. Um, so one quick question maybe from Don. Maybe that's what was causing the <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe our microwave blew up and that's what caused the issue. I don't know. Yeah. Um, one question from Don, any resolve for the Model Y black trim discoloration? So there've been a few things. Abstract Ocean actually, their tack remover seemed to work a little bit. I've been using this and have been told by a lot of people that this actually works really well. It's the Chemical Guys Speed Wipe. Um, it's the cherry scented one, which smells delicious. Um, but I've actually used this long before I even uh, knew about the black trim discoloration. So you can try this and see if that'll work. And that for those of you who don't know, on the Model Y, at least on the earlier models, I don't know if they still have the issue, but it kind of had like a rainbow effect or something on the black trim around the windows. After it got wet. Yeah, and it wasn't that bad. And you could rub it with your finger, it would come off, but it sounds like uh, this, this uh, chemical treatment will kind of take care of that for you. Yeah, um, so definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm trying I to see were... what it says on there. Yeah. Uh, and what it actually is made out of, it doesn't really say. I thought you were getting a different product because I was hinting. What product were you thinking? I was hinting on tomorrow's video that you were going to be. No, 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 uh, no, that's not, that's uh, installed. We'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, okay, well, yeah. But that's but already I mean, installed. I thought that's what you were getting um, a sample of, but okay. And then so. here is the, the ring the that ring. I have. It actually has the so, Tesla yeah. logo. Yeah, so I told them how you've used it on, like, I think you used it on road trips and stuff like yep. that. I used it on road trips. I have it actually paired to several cars. That's a nice thing, yeah. Um, yeah. I absolutely love that. The only thing I noticed is you can't actually touch the ring to the glass B pillar. You need to keep it spaced. So they say to use your knuckle and put your knuckle on the glass. But when you're in the desert and you try to do that, you're going to burn your knuckle. Oh, well, yeah. So that did not feel great. But I think it looks great. I think it works great. Um, haven't really had any issues with it. Um, and you can basically use like a ring sizer or go, or uh, didn't you order one? Or you can, I think you yeah. can even print some out and stuff, but there's ways that you can figure out what size you need before ordering it. Just make sure you order the right size. And then the one thing I think from the company I ordered, it was just on eBay long ago. Um, they didn't have half sizes at the time. I don't uh, know if they do now, yeah. but that's one thing to just keep in mind. Um, we have a super chat. I don't know if it showed up yet. I don't think it did. There it is. Um, Alex DS, thank you for the five euro super chat. Says, Chemical Guys, new car smells amazing. Hmm. Um, agreed. Any news on third row for Y seats? Um, nothing on the third row yet. Hopefully we hear something, maybe at battery day, maybe soon after, um, especially with that single piece rear casting. Um, that's going to be big for them. I see Nathan asked if you could assign that ring to multiple cars, and I believe you yes. said you can, basically. So it's just go same, and add it on each car. Yeah. Exactly. It's the same thing with the actual physical key card. You can actually have that work on several different cars. And what they do is they actually take the key card, dissolve all the plastic off yeah. of it, and in here is all that material. Now, this one is made out of ceramic. There are some companies that do them out of wood, some out of a like a poly resin. Um, I like the ceramic one just because it feels like the toughest. And when I'm like working, I don't want to like hit it and scratch it or anything like that. So the ceramic one, really happy with it. I see Watch Rebuild says it also works through gloves. So that's nice. You don't have to uh, oh, I take tried gloves that. off in the winter uh, before oh, getting in the car. I'll have to try that. Yeah, oh, That's awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, John... Thank you for the $5 super chat. I don't know why the notification hasn't gone off yet. My computer's not reading that super chat. But thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that. There it goes. There it it's is. It's a little delayed. Yeah, huh? a little delayed. Um, said, are you using stuff too for black trim? You read my mind. Oh, yep. Uh, it's great stuff. Uh, I use... A lot of chemical guy stuff, hashtag not sponsored, because um, it just works really well. I use like their washes and everything for the foam guns and cannons and all that. Super happy with it. Um, let's see. 
There's been a couple questions I've seen about the Model 3 headlamps and console. Will they do the same for Model Y? Um, so I guess that's the other thing we haven't s- I saw yeah. that I didn't mention is there's talk that there might be a center console 2.0 coming out in China for their Model 3s. I have no idea what that means, and nobody I've talked to does either. Yeah, a lot of other little things have been mentioned for the Model 3, like maybe a power trunk and a few other uh, and new headlights. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah. Oh, and sorry, that was five pounds sterling, not euros. I'm just blind. Sorry about that. <laughs> but thank you either way oh, for yes, the uh, wrong, super chat. Yeah, I cannot see at all. Um, but thank you. Let's see. Is there a way to figure out when your car is being delivered from Kevin? Um, as in like, what do you mean? As in like how to know when your car will be at the service center ready for delivery after ordering it? Unfortunately, no, because so while Tesla does still operate on the like put in the order and we'll make it thing, they still do have some inventory cars floating around. Maybe somebody's financing didn't get figured out or maybe they decided to not get their Tesla. So sometimes you'll get assigned those cars and after you order, it might be ready for delivery in a few days. Uh, Sometimes more often than not though, it will still take a few weeks. Um, Let's see. Uh, I like to order Tesla Model Y with white interior. Any thoughts on 19 inch or 20 inch, uh, which are better? I mean, I guess it's kind of up to you. Technically on their website, which we'll jump over to real quick, um, the Model Y 19 inch and 20 inch get the same range. So supposedly, yeah, that's... supposedly, of course. Um, so it's really up to you on what you like. I kind of like the in Gemini's. A lot of people don't like the whole cover aspect, but the inductions look really dope too. Your ride quality will probably be slightly better on the 19 inch. I will say that, um, I have not physically tested it, but we've tested it in like Model 3 and everything, and it's been that way, so I'd expect this to be the same. And while you were gone, I saw that somebody asked a couple of times, they were asking if the Model X, uh, do you think it will hit 500 miles in 2021? Mm-hmm. I don't think so, but we're going to know more once Battery Day uh, announcement is made next week. Yeah. I wouldn't, I don't think, that would be a big jump for the Model X, but what you is never it, what know. What does the Model X top out at right now? I don't know, it's like, isn't it still like 370 or something like that? I don't know, you'd have to go check it out. But We're um, looking. I know the, you know. 351. 350, okay. 500 so that, would be pretty steep. Yeah, I don't I think agree. that's going to happen, but you never know. At least with the yeah. current battery, it's not going to happen anytime soon, but we'll no. see what happens with battery day if they say that something new will be coming there. Yep. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions, like, from Diego, any truth to the rumors that Derek is getting digital confetti <laughs> and Wadri uh, Build saying it's digital confetti this it's week? It's just a rumor. Uh, <laughs> it's just a rumor from what I've heard. No, um, unfortunately. No, uh, it was another busy week. With the Lucid um, and all this stuff. And yeah, it's yeah, been a busy week. It's been a really busy week. Um, I keep saying that, but it really has. There, we've been doing some new product testing and install. Uh, video drops tomorrow. It's pretty dope. Not going to lie. And that's for the um, three and the Y, right? It's for the three and the Y. Diego said no more secrets. I got you, Diego. I have permission to actually share this. Um, so let me pull this up quick. So Model 3 and Model Y don't have a rear ambient lighting under the seat, whereas S and X do. So Abstract Ocean has a new product that uh, is launching tomorrow. Uh, let me just make sure and click that link and make sure it's not currently there. Okay, yeah, launches tomorrow, so check it out. But you can see here that the driver's f- seat doesn't have the extra light, whereas the passenger seat does. So you can now have ambient lighting for your back passengers, which is something I absolutely love. Um, I love it in the S, I love it in the X. So the three and the Y were lacking that, and now there's a fix for it. So there's your sneak peek. Um, that video will be dropping tomorrow along with the product, uh, and I'm super happy with it. It worked out really, really well. So no secrets here. Um, let's see. Oh, we just got a ton of chat messages. 
Uh, Pierre said you can now buy Model Y Gemini wheel cap kit for $50. Isn't that... I think that's the same price as the Model 3 wheel cover kit. So that's actually pretty awesome. I didn't know they actually uh, had that available to buy yet. I'm going to look it up real quick because now I'm curious. Oh, yeah. There it is. Right there. I don't mm. like how this one is that color, but... I guess it I matches. I thought they were black underneath there, so they're the or is that, better. Is that the, no? They this is what the Gemini's look like for Model Y. They're actually silver. They are silver. The one I showed oh, you. Okay, the one, some coated. people are powder coating them, or, or yeah. Yep. Very cool. I've Thank seen you so for many people pointing that out. Powder coat them, or or what's up rubber? What's the stuff? Uh, Plasti dip. Plasti dip. Yeah. Yep. Uh, super easy to do. Um, let's see. Alex DS said you should look at the DS3 Crossback E tents on your PC. It's a really neat car from PSA. I'll have to look that up. Um, see, Prux, you know, yep. was asking us about our Home Depot wood pieces, and we kind of uh, discussed that earlier. And we were, uh, you know, they weren't real wood; it was some sort of plastic. And we went over several different pieces of plastic have been you know, shown that they've been using as, uh, you know, replacements for whatever specific part they originally started out with. Yeah. But I think it was just a way that they were doing to keep the line running. And we're not too concerned about it because it's not a, uh, obviously it's not going to affect the safety of the vehicle or anything like that. And being plastic, I don't think it's not going to decay. And if there is a problem, I think Tesla would swap those pieces out with the official part. Agreed. Um, I see Zach says, passing through Wyoming anytime soon. We got the supercharging now and possibly Gen 3. Um, we've actually been through Wyoming several times, but unfortunately right now, uh, I don't think I have any road trips planned for up north. Hopefully soon, though. Um, Matthew Evans said, do you have any protection like ceramic coating on your white interior? We have never put ceramic coating on any of our interiors and have had no stain issues. So what we do is just like once a month, I just buy like the cheap, generic Amazon brand baby wipes. And like once a month or so, if you're driving with blue jeans a lot, just wipe down your seats and everything has come right off for us. Now, if there's something that's a little bit more stubborn, I use like an alcohol spray. Uh, I try to stay away from the magic erasers because those are abrasive and those will cause micro scratches in your seats, which would then potentially make it even harder to get stains out in the future. Um, but we just take care of them and we really haven't had any issues. And by taking care of them, I mean like wiping them down like once every month or two. Not a lot. Um, let's see. Jason said, I think console two is just with the wireless charging in it. Oh, they don't, they don't have that already. Interesting. I mean, model Y comes with it standard. Oh, and the three doesn't. But so the three maybe, doesn't. Yeah, so maybe so that, that makes is sense it. to okay. finally get it upgraded to be kind of the same as the Y. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that, that makes sense. Um, let's see here. I saw on said he, he ate breakfast at the new, uh, Aspen park, you know, kind of for supercharger. So that's cool. We, it opened up last week over Labor Day weekend. So he said he, uh, he really liked it. Nice. Can you send me who did that? Yeah. Okay. So I can get that out. And then let's see. Um, so I see a couple of questions. The ambient lighting is currently only offered in white, different colors, hopefully in the future. Um, and I don't know the price quite yet because it's actually not live online. As soon as it does though, we'll let you know. Uh, Nick said, should I order a Model Y long range now or wait until January? I mean, it's really up to you. I don't think there's gonna be any big changes that would really like sway anything for Model Y or Model 3 anytime soon. But I, I could say that and Tesla could change everything come Monday. So it, it's, it's kind of hard to judge there. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jim, yeah, Model 3 might, uh, sounds like it's getting the power lift gate after Elon said they would install one free for a disabled uh, person. Um, might just be a one-off. I actually heard though that they are going to be doing that. So it wouldn't surprise me if they actually do start including that. Sorry, I got some other messages. Um, Tesla News, coming to Utah anytime soon. I was actually just there. Um, yeah, we were both actually just yeah. there a couple, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, somewhere like that. Yep. Um, let's see. I'm seeing a lot of battery day questions. So, I mean, let's just talk about that for a little bit. We'll have a separate video on that coming. But, I mean, I'm really expecting 
to know what the next gen batteries are going to be that are going to be used in Cybertruck, the Semi, the Roadster, and eventually have those trickle down through the lineup. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't think they're going to start with those in anything but maybe the Plaid S and X. Yeah. Um, real quick, we have Dan a ten dollar super chat from Dan. Thank you, Dan. Um, uh, watching live stream in my, mo in my Model Y. Yeah, awesome. first time, I think. Yeah. I installed the Abstract Ocean Carbon Fiber Shell today. Looks awesome. Dope. Absolutely love it. Um, is that the, the dashboard or the center console, the Carbon Fiber Effect Shell? Um, Probably the center just let console, me know. yeah. But, but awesome. But back to battery day, I'm yeah. excited too. I'm, it'll be interesting to see if there's any news on the power walls and those whole oh, yeah. batteries like that. Because, you know, the power wall, the, the power wall 2 has been out for several years. Yep. And we're totally pleased with ours. But it'd be interesting if they come out with some with a higher capacity. And I, we were just reading up on there's some other competition coming out that's uh, available now. Some ways it's better than power wall, some ways it's not. So it'd be interesting to see if there's a next gen like power wall 3 coming soon. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I I can't wait to see what's going to... I'm expecting my mind to be blown on battery day. I just hope that we're not like disappointed. We're blo I know, building I, it up I'm, to I'm be something it up. major and be like, oh, we're getting, you know... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm... 1% more. No, I just don't want to like... It's got to be bigger than that. It's got to no. be bigger than that. Can you imagine, though, we build up and it's just like... Our cells going from this to this. Yeah, we'll see. Something. It's got to be something major with the batteries. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to get all your, you know, what you want with the plaid announcement. I don't know if that's going to happen. That might be coming later in October or something. But I think the battery news should be good enough. I'm hoping if they plan for plaid later, they push it up based on Lucid's announcement and everything. Um, Nick, thank you for the 399 super chat. Um, thanks for answering my question. Not a problem. But just so you know, you don't necessarily have to donate for a question. Um, but I do appreciate it. Um, we try to get through as many as we can. Sometimes we miss a few. But um, donating is not a requirement. Yeah. And An um, said that uh, he tried lowering his uh, video quality. And, it, and he doesn't see the hiccups anymore. It's weird because some people are reporting hiccups. Other people are saying the video is just fine. So. One person actually early in chat said if you're experiencing hiccups, they closed out and then came back in. They closed their YouTube app, came back yeah. in, and that fixed it. Obviously, so, something's weird tonight, so we might have to cut it a, a little short. But yeah. Yeah, we're, not everybody's having the problem, so I don't think it's on our end. Yeah, our speed test and everything it still says excellent. So. Yeah, over 150 megabits yeah. per second. Um, on uh, what winter tires are you going to go with? Uh, about to pull the trigger on some Soda Zero 3Ss. So I'm still actually looking at all that. I'm working on a video right now. It's just... There's so many options and based on rim size and everything. So working on that now, hopefully I'll have that finalized soon. But the Soto Zero 3Ss are actually on my list of potentials. Yeah. And it would be nice. We, we, you know, we did have about five inches. They predicted, you know, we'd have five to 15 inches last Saturday. We only got about five inches. It wasn't too bad. Eric just still had the all weather tires on his Y when he drove it to work. Yep. Did fine. But yeah, if we get a more, you know, longer snowstorm, definitely be good to have some real winter tires on there. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And winter's just around the corner. Yeah. Um, or a fall yeah. is. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> it's Colorado. It's one of those it Colorado snow whenever. summer snowstorms we had there. Yep. Um, a lot of questions about road trips. Currently, um, no road trips planned at the moment. Actually, Nothing I Nothing major. We might be going down um, to, like, Colorado Springs or... Colorado Ooh, Springs and Colby, Kansas. Colby, we might be going um, to Aspen again. So there's oh, a few yeah. little, like, day trips, but not, like... Not, you know, nothing long. Nothing major, yeah. Yeah. So we got a few so, ones coming up. Yeah, uh, eventually, once everything kind of dies down and works through kind of all this coronavirus stuff, I definitely plan on doing a lot more. Um, let's see, Battery Day will most likely affect newer models and S and X. Yeah, I don't expect anything from Battery Day to affect Model 3 and Model Y anytime soon. I think if it's new battery or new stuff's going to come out, it's going to be for S and X, Plaid variants top tier cars. Um, I think they'll keep long range and everything, maybe the current way it is, and then maybe everything will kind of trickle down. So I could be wrong though. You never know, Tesla's known for surprising people. Let's see, uh, Watch Rebuild's channel, how's the bathroom remodeled going? Um, it's great, took the first showers today. Yeah. Um, no leaks yet, knock on wood. Yeah. Um, but I'll show you this, we got a, um, 
we had a towel down so we didn't like damage anything. Oh yeah. But we got a barn door still, installed we still have a, on the a closet. A few like yeah. accessories and stuff to do. Like we don't have towel racks and stuff yeah. like that. But the barn door is nice. Just got that in today. But yeah, the shower. But the shower was epic. Very nice. Very nice. Ten out of ten. Would would recommend. Thank you for asking. Um, let's see. U16 Auction said, how do you deal with your dogs and your Teslas? Very carefully. Lots and lots of blankets to make sure they don't scratch anything. Um, or like the cargo mats in the The cargo back. mat, exactly. And we usually fold the seats down because uh, ours are pretty tall dogs. And so uh, we usually fold the seats down. And yep. But there's, did the, does Tasmania ever come out with that uh, seat protector? Um, it still is waiting coming for that? soon. Okay, so we're still waiting on that. But we'll definitely do a video on that once we get it. Yes, that is something, um, not only do they have really amazing floor mats, which we use and love, but they have covers for the back of the second row seats coming out. And that will really help protect that carpet and just make sure that like you don't necessarily get a lot of dog fur on it and just protect it. Even if you're just like hauling other stuff, you don't have to worry about any of it. So yeah, very excited for that too. Um, some more questions about the bathroom remodel. Thank you guys for asking. If you aren't aware, we remodeled our entire master bathroom pretty much every single surface every, every single thing except for like the light switches are the only thing that stayed the same but i mean the new paint new trim new doors new shower new tile new vanities new mirrors a heated floor everything is brand new so it was a lot of work but it kept us busy this summer so it helped us pass the time while we were staying home it did we got a lot done and we learned a lot yep. we messed a lot of things up we fixed them um, there is, it was a lot of firsts for us. Huge shout out to my parents. If you're watching, thank you for all the help. Um, but it was a lot of firsts. I've never soldered copper pipe before. I've never, I mean, we've tiled before, but not to like that extent. That was a lot of tile. Um, but yeah, came out looking great. Um, let's see some other snow tire suggestions. I'll have to look those up. Thank you for the suggestions. So, so we were talking about the bathroom. Alex just asked about, have we noticed for our heated floor yet in our solar reports? We haven't really because we've only t used it a couple times because it's still pretty warm. Like, like we said, it was like 90 degrees. It was like 80 degrees today. So we haven't really needed to use that heated floor much, but we will be using it uh, more, you know, in October, November, December. And the cool thing is the, the Dietra like remote or the whatever you call it on the wall yeah. shows how much how many like kilowatt hours you're using and you can put in your costs and stuff and so it'll keep track of that right there to show how much we're spending on heat uh heating that floor and cool things we can control it via mobile app or we can um do it right there from the keypad the touch uh, keypad so we'll definitely let you know but it's not going to be huge i think when we do run it if we were to run our heated floor it's just for that bathroom it would use about 450 watts uh, 450 watts so that for one hour that's all it would use pretty minimal yeah considering that we've got such a huge surplus uh with our solar system now so it, we'll, we'll definitely keep track of that and we'll do a report of how much it's using but it'll it'll, it'll be nice on that tile floor yep um william william said picking up my model y in two weeks how does regen break work when going down hills to save um Thanks for all your videos. No problem. Thank you for watching and joining. So regen braking is basically when you take your foot off the accelerator, it's almost going to feel like the brakes have started to be applied. There's three different modes you can actually set it in. There's like creep. Well, that's different. That's that's like driving mode versus the regen mode. No, creep we, and then hold. But regen, you have like standard and... Oh, well, that does too. But yeah. if you go into like hold, your regen will actually stop you. So you can do like one pedal driving. And that's kind of what I've been doing a lot of because I find it puts more back in the battery. Um, but yeah, I guess there is just standard and... I don't know, it's like reduce or something like that. I don't yeah. remember the other setting, but basically it's not as strong. Exactly. And so if you're just getting used to it, I, I'd say just give it five minutes because when, when I first drove a Tesla, the first uh, f driving out of the parking lot and I took my foot off of the accelerator and it was like, whoa, the regen kicked in. It was really strong. It took only like five minutes to get used to. So I went ahead and I've kept mine on standard regen since then. And that really helps reduce our energy usage. And you know, driving to work and stuff like that. Oh, it's I, standard and low, by the way. Standard and low. Okay. So I know that some people have been complaining, like, especially on their Model Y, that they're, they're getting like 400 or, or higher watt hours per mile 
uh, is their average, and ours is way below, like, it's closer to 300, and Three, even on the yeah. S is lower than that. And so if they're getting that high, I, I asked him, well, what's your regen setting? And he's had it set to low, and I was like, bump it up to standard, and that should really help uh, reduce your watt hours per mile. You bet. Yeah. And you can also do your driving style as hold. You just need to keep an eye on it, but... When you're driving, you can just use the accelerator and then let go of the accelerator when you're coming up to a stoplight or something if you're not in autopilot, and it will take you all the way down to zero and put you in the hold, and then you press the accelerator again and go. So I hardly ever use my brakes, and that's not only going to prolong your brake life, but also put the most amount of energy possible back into your motors. Yeah. Um, and then kind of following up on – oh, congratulations on your Y, though. FYI, uh, Nick said, um, uh, picking up our first Tesla and am quite intimidated on, um, QC issues. What should we be looking for? Um, we, we should put a checklist together. There's already a couple floating around there. If you Google like Tesla delivery checklist, you'll probably find one, but I guess the big things are going to be like paint imperfections, um, panel gaps, panel gaps, stuff like that. Um, yeah, we really haven't experienced too many. Oh, I'm tired. Sorry, it's been a long day. I had to go to work earlier, so that's why. Let's see. Somebody, let's see, Pooh Bear was asking about the new uh, Chrome Delete from Tesla. And we had mentioned that a couple weeks back, on, yep. like in China. We don't know yet if it's coming to the United States, but I assume it would be coming here eventually. And also they'd mentioned some rumors of like the octo valve, which would mean the heat pump and stuff coming to the Model 3 as well. So I definitely think it's in the cards. We just don't know how soon that's going to happen. Yep, exactly. Um, Diego said, have you guys seen the sentry mode graphic on the screen for the Model Y? Um, does it go on when we walk away? I still haven't seen it. So the sentry mode, what I would suggest doing is leave your phone and everything like, I don't know, like 30 feet away. Or go up to your car know. and uh, or turn off your Bluetooth. Actually, you can yeah. just do that. Go up to your car, try to open it, and that will put the sentry uh, screen on. And that way you can kind of see what it looks like. And now, if you keep messing with it, you're liable to have it play really loud noises. Yeah, and, and just a little hint. If you ever, like, get a flat tire and you need to take your tire to, like, discount tire or drop it off, be sure to turn off sentry mode because otherwise when they go to swap out your tire, it's going to set the alarm off. And we know this personally because Scott got another, like, screw in his tire and he dropped it off and we kept getting notifications that sentry mode alarm. I think I got, there. like, ten notifications. Yeah, so it's like... Remember to turn that off if you're going to have somebody work on your car that's you know not a Tesla shop. Yeah, definitely a pro tip right there. Um, but yeah, just go up to your car and jiggle. The or you one and also one way if you don't want to turn, to, remember turning sentry mode on and off manually. One trick you can do is to like add that garage. So say if you go to discount tire, add that as a favorite, and then you can go to your sentry mode settings and say omit favorites, and then that way you'll never need to turn it on and off at that location again. It'll automatically not be enabled there. Another pro tip. Love it. Um, really useful, though. Um, let's see. Dennis said, are you ever going to put a ceiling in the garage? Um, we've talked about it a lot, actually. We're not sure exactly what necessarily we want to do. We don't necessarily want, like, a down Closed, low ceiling yeah. because it's so open right now. But we've talked about maybe putting just, like, white sheeting up, like yeah. white plastic to just cover the... Uh, insulation yes but i'm also and the rafters and we might yeah the rafters so and we're put in some sort of cooling or you know like either a active cooler or a ceiling fan something like that so we have some plans there but i think the first step is going to be something with the floor and that's what i was going to talk about um diego this is for you no secrets we've already talked about it um i'm talking with a couple different companies that do garage flooring and trying to see um, what I can get done and what my options are because I really want that flooring done like Tesla gray, like a light gray. And, uh, I think that'd look really dope. Uh, but we have a couple issues with the cement slabs that we need to figure out. Let's see. Um, Brent, thank you for the $5 super chat said given Western States on fire, global cat five or four to five storms flooding. Does this make steel exoskeleton the most environmentally friendly? I, I would say maybe. Uh, I mean, it's definitely because, less because you don't have to worry about the paint. You don't have to worry about paint. It's less machinery 
which means less greenhouse gases go into making it. Um, I just don't know yeah. personally, like how much, like compared to an SNS <clears throat> with like aluminum body panels, I don't know if that's less than a stainless steel one. So like, you can't no. say straight out that yes, it's better, but I just think by not having to paint it, that's definitely a hundred percent better there. Yep. And also, since it's going to have that steel exoskeleton, it should hold up to all these storms a little bit better. Yeah, especially like <laughs> hail and stuff like that. Yeah. So, or, or maybe minor, you know, car dings and stuff. So you won't be having to replace those parts. Hopefully, they'll be strong enough. And, th you know, that's just less stuff that needs to be going to the, to the junkyard or getting recycled and stuff. Yep. Um, generic said, can you add MCU2 to an older Tesla SNX? Yep, that's yeah, and basically for those you don't know, we added it to our 2017 S100D. It originally came with MCU1 and Autopilot 2. We got it upgraded to MCU2 and Autopilot 3, and it works great. It's like having a brand new car again. You can have it. it you just need to put in a request in your app, and there's a section there for upgrades, and you can say uh, that you want to get the MCU2 upgrade. They're not doing it in every country yet, but they do have it pretty widespread in the United States. It's not yet available for like every single car. I, I know that they are offering it even on autopilot cars and even cars that I believe don't even have autopilot. So they're going way back to like 2015, 2014, and you can get the MCU2 upgraded, it, and it greatly speeds up things. If you don't want to spend the whole $2,500 on the MCU2 upgrade, the, you can either get the MCU1 replaced, it's like $1,300 or so, or you can get the memory board, the daughter board replaced for you know between three and $500. And uh, that, definitely several options. that can help speed things up as well. But yeah. definitely, you should be able to get that MCU2 upgraded on older cars. I did hear that some cars, again, depending on hardware configuration, like you have to have the tech packages with that, but they have been constantly changing the requirements, so they're going b back year, you know. You know as hopefully, far as eventually, can, the 2012 yeah. cars will have it as well if they can't already. Yep. So how many thumbs up would you give it? I give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs the, up uh, from MCU2. him, two from me. Yeah. It was an amazing upgrade. It's like a brand new car. Yeah. Literally made the yeah. car feel brand new. Absolutely love it. Um, John said delivery day minus four days. Ooh, uh, cool. T minus four days. Uh, congrats. That's always exciting. Um, try to sleep. It'll be tough, though. Um, let's see. Uh, a little bit of this and that actually talks about something that you and I have talked about a lot. And that's, do you think um, Tesla would ever offer a Model X with regular rear doors? And the Falcon wing doors were optional. Yeah, that's something we've talked about years ago because this is one thing they're kind of cool but also they're kind of scary sometimes or and yeah. in some ways they have more flexibility but other ways they limit it so it'd be nice if they did so if they do ever if they don't take them away from the model x maybe there'll be a different version that that just doesn't have those you know yeah um anastasia said there are many tesla model y manufacturer issues that tesla said they can't fix on my new car uh can i ask for compensation or what should i do the trunk door gap and back seats are misaligned, bothers me. The trunk door gap, I would think they could fix, but I guess it it's depends. Something, and it's something pretty um, easy, because they just yeah. have to like turn a couple, like uh, I don't know what you would call that, but but we had the, an issue yeah. on, some, on one of your doors, and they just twist a couple things, and it's lined up better. Yeah, and then the back seats misaligned is actually um, an issue that most all have. For the Model Y, um, yeah. One of, I think it's the 60% is slightly higher than the yeah, than, or, or lower no than it's the other yeah. way around sorry the 60 percent is slightly lower than the 40 percent split um what i do if it bothers you put the seats full reclining and it gets rid of that i don't know why but it as for me so um that's one thing you could try doing but the door gap i would think they should fix but yeah i don't know if i don't think they would give you any compensation no. for that they, you know they might yeah, I, I think I, the best thing they would probably offer is for you to swap it out maybe with another car. Um, but I would definitely let, the, you know, if hopefully you mentioned that when you took delivery and it, normally we'd give you a due bill and then you could you could say, you know, I want these things fixed and they normally would take care of it. We've had them fixed when we took delivery of any uh, car. They've fixed everything, every issue we've had. But luckily we haven't had any major, major issues. Yep. Uh, Alex Diaz said, any plans for Scott to sit in that third seat? I think you mentioned a few streams ago that you're going to try to get him in on a video. Um, yeah, he's currently cooking upstairs, and we can smell the oh, microwave blow yeah. up. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, um, like, that's the microwave. Yeah, so we guess, can add that to our shopping list for this yeah, week. Yeah, because we need a new microwave. Um, so he's currently cooking upstairs. That's normally what he does when we're live streaming is he's uh, up there cooking some foods. Um, but, yeah, hopefully soon. 
Um, Somebody said that for the Cybertruck, if we yep. calculated our reservation number yet, because you know how they give you some random number? They're saying that I think I mean, they're saying that there's some way you can calculate it now. Basically, I mean, we reserved it we were, right when it was able to be reserved they were at still the on, event. Elon was still on stage. Yeah, and, and we I was were, on there. We were in line. Yeah, so we, we should be pretty close to the front of the line. I don't yeah. know. But yeah, we have reserved a couple of them and we're I think both of them were reserved while we were standing in line waiting for the ride of the Cybertruck. So yeah. I don't know exactly but we'll have to look and see if we can figure that out. Oh that was Roger. Oh, okay, cool, Roger. Yeah, we'll Roger have, from Model Y. Yeah, we'll have to check and see, but yeah. I don't know because I know that way back, remember one of the previous cars, they, they didn't randomize the number and so you yeah. could see like, oh yep. in the order you were. And so then they randomized it or something. So it'd be interesting if that really worked out. So we should we should take a look at that and see. Yeah, we'll have to look at that. Um Brian said do race deck tiles in your garage and you can do your own design. So I actually looked at race deck. The issue I have with race deck um, is I still need to get the cement like sealed because I don't want snow and everything going through oh, the yeah, race deck and just yeah. sitting on our cement. Um, I also need to get some of the slabs sloped correctly because in part of it, the old garage, yeah. they slope away from the door. Yeah, so, so we have, we have a like yeah. part of, we've got a, like a twelve hundred square foot garage and like about nine hundred square feet of it or maybe eight hundred is, is like older and the slope isn't quite right. The new garage is better. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we need to get the old garage uh, upgraded. Some the floor. Yeah, at least. but I've looked at the race deck and the only thing is Colorado when you have snow on your cars and you pull into your garage, that snow is gonna fall off. It's gonna melt. And it leaves behind mm -hmm. like this salt residue stuff. And I don't want that sitting Magnesium under the race chloride. deck tiles or even on top of the race deck tiles. Yeah. So I don't think race deck is really going to be what would work for me. I actually got some samples of it. And I just, I think that would mm -hmm. bother me to know all snow that, is just sitting yeah, there and salt and everything. Yeah, and one thing we did find, so our garage originally wasn't insulated. And we insulated it, you know, four or five years back. And in some ways that's really nice because the garage stays much more, uh, much better temperature, especially in the winter. It's, but the bad thing is, is that if you do have any snow on your car, when you park in the garage, it then melts off because it's so warm in the garage. Before, when it wasn't insulated, the snow would stay on the car overnight, and then you could back out and drive to work, and it would fall off when, yeah. you're, when your car's parked outside. But now we have the problem is, since it's insulated, the car, all the snow melts, and then we have like a pool of water. And so that's why we're looking, we got to have the slope just right. And we do have a dehumidifier that we put in there, and that helps. But uh, we got to get them some the floor fixed yeah the floor is definitely improved one priority yeah. and then the ceiling is another um you know how projects go yep. <laughs> they're never ending um R robert uh said are any of your cars out of warranty well yeah. currently only one is yeah so one of the mod the s75d which is from 2017 so the reason it's out of warranty is just because it has uh, over 50,000 miles uh we did have to get one thing fixed on that car outside of warranty it was only like 310 dollars and that was because a rodent i th think it was out at the airport a rodent had chewed in through the wiring harness but we we took it into tesla and barely you know it was really hard to drive because of the power steering was out but we took it in tesla and with troubleshooting the issue and fixing the issue only came up to three hundred ten dollars, so it wasn't that expensive of a fix. Yeah, um, and then let's see. Aaron said, "Do you think that Tesla will ever bring auto opening doors to the S like they do on the X?" I mean, I love that feature a ton. I would love to see it on S. So maybe the new Plaid variant. That'd be a cool add-on. It's something they already have the hardware for, um, so they would just have to fit that into Model S. I think it'd be really cool. The only thing is I don't know because Model S front doors do not have door pockets in them. Yeah, so it's, it's very tight back yeah. there. So I don't know if there's enough room for all that equipment. That's yeah. the issue. So hopefully that's something we'll see with the Plaid that they will add a little bit of the storage that they've added in the, the other, every other car has that except for the S. Yep, exactly. Um, let's see... Sorry, a lot of questions. Some of it we've already answered. So I'm yeah, just see, Dennis, get some Dennis uh, says that he has a DeLorean and he has a Cybertruck on order. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, but he says that stainless shows fingerprints really bad. We've seen that. It's weird because, you know, we've had various stainless steel yeah. uh, refrigerators and appliances. Some of them show, stain show fingerprints. Some of them don't. It's just weird. Hopefully Tesla's version won't. But if it does, he, like he says, get it wrapped. And that's that's what we do is probably do a you might still even do paint protection film or some sort of wrap on top of that stainless, even though 
uh, just to keep it looking nice. I wonder, I heard, maybe you can help answer this, Dennis, but I heard if you had a DeLorean, you could actually take like one of those metal Brillo pads from oh, like wow. you mm. use to clean dishes and Yikes. stuff and That's actually nice. use that on your car. Is that a myth or is that possible? Because I would be I would, terrified. I would not do that, but yeah, that'd be interesting to hear. Yeah. I'm curious to know, Dennis, from an actual owner, if that's possible. Yeah. Um, yikes. I would still be scared. Um, Proximo said, do you think the turbines will do okay in the winter? Um, I mean, any rim will do as long as you have a good tire on there. I yeah, obviously also, don't want to be running summer performance tires in the winter. Yeah. But also, I'm, he might be asking about snow. I don't know. But oh, you know, various yeah. They'd be fine, designs, though. well, you know, might get snow caked in there. True. I, but some worse than others. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, we, didn't you have, you had, no, Scott has basically the turbines. He has the turbines. He has the T-Sport line version of turbines, and they work fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Robin said, does the Model Y charge faster than Model S at a V3 supercharger? Depend exactly. I wish it was really cut and dry, but it depends on what model year the S is. Um, if we're gonna do it, we would have to do it at the same battery temperature, the same state of charge, but they're actually different battery sizes. So you'd have to do the same percentage of yeah. battery charge. A and lot also would go the, into and it. also the age of the car because like older S and X. Oh yeah, exactly. Don't, and, uh, don't have the same wiring and, and so, how many superchargers they've been through. Yeah, but basically my you know we've been seeing the superchargers on my 2017 S100D have gotten faster as the uh, superchargers of V2 have been upgraded and even V3 came out. Originally, I think when we got the car, it could max out at like 120. Then Tesla bumped that to 130 kilowatts, and then I think 150 at those V2 superchargers. But we've gotten at like 186 or 187 at a V3 supercharger, which is really close to 200 kilowatts. Now the three and the Y can get 250, but now that I believe that Tesla came out with the new Raven S and X can get the same 250 kilowatts. Yep. So newer cars can all do the 250. Yeah. Um, real quick, we have an update from Dennis. That oh, is the, correct. Oh really, with the Brillo pads? Oh, wait, no. He said, you're correct to be worried about salt on concrete. Okay. <laughs> okay. And he said Not false the to the Brillo pad. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, what? <laughs> I know. Oh, that was funny. Uh, Matthew said, sandpaper your cyber truck. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, so, so there's this coating called, um, what's that, like, truck bed coating? Yeah, the right. Linex. Rhino or Rhino. We could or... Linex the entire exterior of it, and it would be, like, even tougher. But what about the Rhino or something? It's basically, yeah, that stuff. and Linex are kind of the same. Um so many fun things we're going to do with the Cybertruck. I can't wait. Um, let's see. Uh, Sam said, where should I buy TPMS sensors for aftermarket wheels? Is Tesla the only choice? So if you have a Model Y, they currently use a Bluetooth sensor. And my understanding is Tesla is your only choice for that right now. Now, if you don't, if you're looking for like a 3S or X, that don't have Bluetooth sensors, they might add that in the future, we don't know yet. Um, you can buy those on some different websites and everything, because um, those are just standard TPMS sensors. But the Bluetooth ones are not easy to necessarily come by at the moment, unfortunately. Hopefully that changes soon and somebody can start selling those. Um, let's see. Brent said, given climate change effects, should we be beyond looks and more about sustainable function. I mean, of course, that's why we're so big into Tesla and EVs is that way uh, the function is there. We can charge them from the house, from the solar panels. So we're being as sustainable as possible there. Now I'm gonna get the argument, oh, but you bought 12 Teslas, how is that being sustainable? Well, the great thing is, is all the ones that we have sold have been sold at a reduced cost thus allowing somebody to get into a Tesla for a cheaper than new price that might not have been willing or able to afford the full list price. So that's my justification. Some people might not see it that way, but that's how I do it. Let's see, uh, Michael, thank you for the kind comment. Uh, really appreciate that. Um, trying to see, uh, I just read the sand paper comment again. <laughs> That made me laugh. Let's see. How many superchargers have a lounge from Om? It's not a lot. It yeah, there's only a there's, there's a the few. US. I mean, there, there's some around. It's like we don't know 
how many of them, but I don't, I don't think Tesla publishes that. We know that uh, like they're building a big supercharger up in Superior at the new service center there, and I'm wondering if they're going to have a lounge there, because there's a couple things there, but, but um, it'd be interesting to see. But I know a few, because you know then Las... No, not, no, Las Vegas doesn't have one, but we know like Kettleman City and, and a few other ones yeah. have them, but yeah, it's still pretty limited. Yeah, there's, there's only a select few. Luckily, I've been able to actually get out to, I think, two of them. There, maybe a few of them, maybe like four. I don't really remember, but yeah. Um, let's see. Dennis has another update. Said, do not use a Brillo pad or steel wool. <laughs> uh, steel wool is what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. On stainless, it will embed particles causing rust. Yeah. Great oh, to know. Oh, Thank you. Go. I'm glad we chatted about this before I went and did that all over my Cybertruck. Because that would have sucked. Um, yikes. Um, let's see. Do you think Rivian truck can compete with the Cybertruck? I mean, the Rivian truck is great. Don't get me wrong. It looks nice, and they it have looks a lot great. of they have a lot of cool features. A on lot there. of good like, functionality, like the little garage or whatever for the tools pass -through, and stuff like yeah. that. And it's got a little fold down seat. The Rivian truck looks really cool. I'll say that. Yeah, and I mean, I've been tempted to get a Rivian. Even there's a lawsuit uh, recently between Tesla and Rivian. Uh, maybe we'll save that for another day. That makes me question it slightly, but um, I still think the Rivian is a great option. Yeah. I would I like to see one delivered though. That's yeah, I thing. see Rich just did another super chat. Uh, thank you, Rich, for the five dollars super chat. Watch Rich, it's not or Watch Rich. It's sorry, not, it's not know, the real that's Rich. That's not his real name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> said talking about DeLoreans, wouldn't it be cool to have another newer Back to the Future movie with oh, a yeah. Cybertruck? Yeah, oh, that would be dope. Four. Actually, though, okay. How about this? How about we go in real deep? I buy those shoes from Nike that can auto lace. Oh yeah, yeah, and the jacket. And <laughs> we recreate. The scene from Back to the Future with a Cybertruck. Oh, yeah. And that's yeah. fun. That could be fun. Uh, I'm maybe sure someday. it will be done, yes. Yep. Um, let's see. So I just thought of this. In the UK, they call the trunk of the car the boot. So shouldn't the frunk be called the fruit or foot? Fruit, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah. that's funny stuff. That's great thinking. Um, let's see. Uh, on said, does it matter? Eric will end up wrapping the Cybertruck anyway. I don't know. I've gone back and forth with like, should I wrap it? Or we'll probably I at least put something it? on there. There'll like, definitely be logos yeah. and like some decals and some patterns and some stuff on it. But it's like, should I full blown wrap it? I don't know if I will. I guess time will tell. But find out next year, hopefully. <laughs> find out 2021. Um,. Dennis did say there are special 3M Scotch Brite blending pads for stainless graining. Interesting. Nice. Yeah, we'll have to check that out before we get this Cybertruck. Um, also, uh, Diego said any booty short update? Um, Coming probably right there. <laughs> right coming, there. coming soon. It's right there, but I can't show them yet. Um, but it's right here. Literally. It's right there. Oh, yeah, I see the little packet, that envelope or whatever. Yeah, it's the white right envelope. here. Yeah, show them the envelope. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't want to accidentally leave okay. something yet. Okay, okay. Um, but it's right here, and it's right here. Oh, yeah, I, um, see, I see all of it right there. I'm sorry, Diego, to have to keep you hanging on this one, but got to do what I got to do on this one. It, it'll be soon, though, I promise. Um, some people said just get it polished, stainless or clean stainless with barkeeper's friend cleaner yeah, and a use, soft sponge protect yeah. with water displacer um formula 40 okay we do have barkeeper's friend we use that yeah and we also have some sort of like special stainless oh. like environmentally friendly stainless steel cleaner. on uh -oh. said he's saving them for the battery day live stream Whoa! <laughs> rap that scared the crap out of me thank Thanks, you john, john for the super chat twenty dollars <laughs> Uh, big dono of the day. Thank you, John. The, really the dogs, appreciate it. Expect the dogs to come um, and check things out. Uh, I was at the VA last week, parked my Model Y on the back lot about 200 feet away with cars in the parking lot. Told the nurses that this car will uh, drive right up to the front door. They recorded on oh, their cool. phones. No yeah. problems. So he yeah. summoned it. Summon it is yeah. like... Smart summon. It's... I know a lot of people refer to it as a party trick, but as a party trick, it's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. It yeah. will blow everyone's mind. They're... Yeah. Absolutely love it. Great story. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Um, hopefully, we should do you an updated video on well. that because it's been a while, and we got to test it out and see if any of the new updates if it's any have better. Made it better, yeah, yeah, I agree. We will have to get right on that. 
Um, let's see. Uh, where was I? Oh, on said saving them for battery day live stream. I mean, there oh, might no, be a I video before yeah, that. I don't think I don't think it would go well with plaid, so I don't think it's going to be on the same. I'm video. just trying to think like if I'd rather do it as a separate video because if I get like I don't know if I'll get in trouble for doing it, but if I get in trouble, oh yeah, I can make it separate and then I can have it separate. So if that video gets taken down, it's not like the battery day live stream. That. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We gotta. We'll see. There, there'll probably be a video before battery day, and then you know what? If I get everything on my wish list from Tesla on battery day, <laughs> maybe I will break out the shorts. Yeah, see, I'm saying booty shorts with red plaid. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that would look that great, but yeah, <laughs> probably not. But that's not unfortunately what we have. Um, but that would be pretty funny. Let's see. Um, Jim said a remake Back to the Future with a Cybertruck would be dope, better than paying ads for Tesla. I mean, it would draw a lot of people, that's for sure. I mean, they could, they could even do like a Mad Max, you know, a Road Warrior oh, yeah, that movie too. with a Cybertruck. Come on. And it could have solar panels and you, you wouldn't need fuel anymore. Yeah. That, that would actually be a dope idea too. So many really great ideas for this. Um, RC said, have you had the panoramic roof of the Model Y tinted? It gets super hot in the car sometimes above 140. So what oh. I would do is I would turn on cabin overheat protection with just the fan, not the AC. But if you are worried about that, I haven't gotten mine tinted. I have the Tasmanian um, sunshade for the roof and I can throw that up there if it's really hot. And that works really great. But, did, but didn't you get your tinted or not? Uh, my roof, no. Okay, just the windows. We got all, everything else tinted around. but yeah. that With the ceramic, ceramic tint, yeah. Yep. Um, Steve said ceramic coat's great on stainless steel. That's awesome. We'll have to do that too. Um, let's see. Do you think Tesla would build upon the Cybertruck line, like the Cyber Roaster, Cyber Van, totally. etc.? <laughs> I mean, they totally could. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. Because it's totally different from yeah. their other cars, and which is weird because, you know, Elon said years ago they were never going to come out with a weird mobile, but then they came out with a Cybertruck, which some might think would be a weird mobile. But, yeah, maybe they could split that off and kind of have the, uh, their own line that was kind of related. Yeah. It would be cool, though, is if they spun that into another company and then they could get those... Bring that EV credit. Yeah, back. I love the way you're thinking. Uh, Emmett said, uh, when do you really think delivery will occur for Cybertruck? Um, I'm going to say Q3 of 2021. Yeah. My guess earlier this video was like September next year. We'll see. Yeah. Crossing and my then, fingers. Um, and when before they deliver 200,000? Oh, That's probably going to be into 2022. While. Yeah, I would think. Um, but I definitely see it in mid to late 2021 late 2021 uh frank said did you see the video on the first police car model three yeah it was by now you know and we definitely checked that out yeah let's see can't wait for the booty shorts video um you guys have no idea what's about to hit this thing holy crap it's either going to be my most loved video or my most hated yeah or both, you know, it, different, it's, it's depending on who's watching. It's for a unique audience. Yeah. We'll say that. Well, we should have a disclaimer. You know we might have to. That's not a bad idea. Um, Kat said, I heard Model S and X are getting a few new colors in the next iteration. Any mm -hmm. idea what? So the only thing I heard is the colors would be for cars coming out of Giga Berlin. Hmm. I haven't heard that from Fremont yet. So that would be news if it's there. Robin said, you think other EV manufacturers are focusing on zero to 60 times and futuristic looks rather than make it a luxurious interior and keeping it simple. I mean, they're trying to focus on whatever Tesla's not doing because Tesla has that cornered really well. So I think that's why with the Lucid, we saw a lot more features like rolled into it. Yeah, it'll be interesting though because how much further can they continue to push like zero to 60 times? Because oh, I know. you can't drive the car... <laughs> you know on pub on public roads like that so uh, really how you know it's nice to say but how important is that in day-to-day -day driving yeah i would rather for me i'd rather have you know the 500 mile range and so Yo, I yeah need, i'd rather have that because right now you know even my car i think is like zero to 16 like 4.1 seconds it's still pretty fast. fast that's still, still fast it's yeah. like, uh, you know 2.5 1.9 yeah that's really that's a lot faster but i don't really need that i think yeah. I might get into trouble if <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, wait for the roadster. Yeah. Um, on said uh, they were originally mentioning that Elon had a backup truck design in case a cyber truck didn't sell. Mm. Um, think they'll still release a second softer design truck. 
To be honest, after everything from Cybertruck, I bet you they crumpled that piece of paper up and threw it away. Hopefully they recycled it. Yeah. Um, but I bet you that's out the window. It it doesn't make sense to with the amount of deposits and everything on the Cybertruck. Something want, people want something new and fresh, and that's exactly what the Cybertruck is. It's new, it's fresh, it's different. And I love that about it. Uh, Diego said, you guys follow football at all. No. No, it's funny because we uh, were flipping through sorry. channels the other day and we said there's a, there was a football game. I was like, well, when did football start? It's like, I didn't know it was back back on. So, um, yeah, we don't. <laughs> I don't really follow sports, like, hardly at all. Uh, just Lady. stay busy. <laughs> oh, don't eat that. <laughs> She's eating the confetti. Don't eat that, honey. She spit it out. I know. That's not good for you. <laughs> um, yeah, don't really follow any of that. Or really like, see. you do, like, like um, online, like, gaming and stuff like that instead. Yeah. Stuff that you could... Exactly. Um, and I've even thought about, like, a gaming channel. Maybe. Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. I just need some more time. Especially now that we're done with the bathroom. Email. Yeah, now that we're done with the bathroom. Um, let's see. Um, Jim said even hated videos can get lots of views. Yeah, well, I mean. Sometimes they do, yeah. <laughs> I bet this will get a lot of views, but it's how will people like it? Um, let's see. Um... Brent said, why even paint cars now? Do we have time for planet Earth? I mean, I'm totally fine with, like, not really painting them or doing something quick and easy that's uh, more sustainable and eco-friendly. I'm all about that. Oh, nice. Um, let's see. I Julio. Julio, th sorry. Th thank you for the four ninety nine super chat. Really, really appreciate that. No comment. So if you have anything to say, just... Post it in chat, and we'll happily read that. But uh, thank you very much for the super chat. Oh, somebody said they were asking if we put a zero. I don't know what they're talking about with the zero in the back of the cyber truck. We have been talking about various things. We, we put could... a zero. Oh, that's the motorcycle. Oh, okay. No, um, probably not a zero, but no. but we have been talking about a couple other things that we're researching. So, But we can't let that slide. But it, this would be huge. We can't leak this yeah. one. I'm so sorry, Diego. Um, but, oh, man. I'm really pushing to get this for the back of Cyber. We just got to, we, we need to know how big the bed is, you know, the yep. exact measurements and stuff like that before we take the dive. Yep. Uh, Watch Rebuild said, uh, what do you think of Tesla stock? Will it go up big time after battery day or just linger like now? Really depends on what all they decide to announce, to be honest. I mean, they could make this stock go sky high if they announce the right stuff. So, Yeah. Uh, Brian said Australia had a Tesla police car since last year. So maybe yeah. this, this is the first one in the U.S. Yeah, for the Model 3 maybe, because I know yeah. that like even in oh, Denver, yeah, we, we have, have a, Model a Model S. S. It's the yeah. older one pre-refresh, but we, we've seen that one. Yeah. Um, Frank said, I saw a video where the guy went into a Lucid store in the air and the trunk had to be held up by somebody. Oops. Oh, my. Yikes. We, yeah, there's not a lucid store near us no. yet, so it's going to be a while before we get to see one of those. But yeah, their trunk was huge. It looked weird, though. I, it's not a hatchback. It's yeah. so a great big trunk. Giant frunk, too. It says it's the biggest one, but eh, it's neat. Yep. Um, Simo, great question. When will Tesla add heads-up display to 3 and Y? This could be done without adding another screen. Yeah, that We've be been nice. wanting that forever because it like would give years. it a little bit more <laughs> premium look, too, and premium feel. Yeah. Rather than have a physical second screen, give us yeah. a heads up. And if they're going to do it for the 3 and Y, why not do it for the S and X as well? Then, then if they do get rid of that uh, instrument cluster, you know, replace it with a heads up display. Yep. A lot of other you know, high end cars have heads up displays, and you could do some pretty cool stuff on those. You bet. Um, Diego said, any idea what time battery day starts or how long it is? Yeah, I don't know. It's after the regular shareholder <coughs> meeting. So yeah. some, and I think that starts at like 2.30 Pacific time. So that shareholder is so probably at like 2.30. And then my guess would be that's about an hour, hour, hour and a yeah. half. So like 3.30 Pacific time. So about 3 4 o'clock. 3.34, yeah. 4 or 4, 4.30 Pacific Elon time. shouldn't be late because he's already there. Yeah, yeah. So there's that. Um, sorry if you're watching, Elon. I have to give you a little bit of a hard time. Um, wouldn't that be wild? Elon just sends me a text message. Hey, that's not funny. You're not. You're uninvited. That'd be funny. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Christian said, I'm late. Did you talk about Nikola? Yeah. Um, I dropped it in chat. I'll go ahead and drop it again because there's like 400 of you here. Um, but there is... I don't want to call it like a hit piece, but it's a very intense article 
all about Nikola and the founder and they back it up with a lot of facts. Mind you, they do short the stock, so keep that in mind, but it's still a good read. Whether or not you agree with it is up to you, but yikes is all I'm going to say. Um, let's see. Matthew said, I'm new to this channel. Is that a real supercharger shell? I assume mm -hmm. it's not powered, but is the shell official? You yeah, bet. Yeah, I've got the link for that. I was just trying to put it in chat. Oh, okay. I, yeah, just to say, I'm going to get back We're going to get that link. But yeah, so basically I built a supercharger shell for the garage because Tesla wouldn't sell me one of these. So I made one out of foam, fiberglass over it, removed the foam so it's hollow so I could route the wires. And that's what's hanging on the wall in the garage. This one is real though. And actually, uh, huh, funny story. It was on eBay. It's not the most recent one that was on eBay for 10 grand. But this one was on eBay because a store was discarding it, put it out by a dumpster. Somebody found it and threw it up on eBay and uh, I bought it. Yeah, and I just dropped the link in there. Oh, perfect. That's basically the video where Eric explains all the details and he shows him bring it home and as we take it apart. I think that's the video where we take it apart and you can see the insides and everything. But yeah, it's basically like an old uh, V2. So it's got a lot thicker cable than the current one. This is a really hefty cable. It probably weighs like 15 pounds or something, but uh, a lot thicker than the uh, V3. But it's cool. It lights up. Oh, yes. You can't, yeah, it lights up there. Do you want to hit the switch? Ta-da! It's an old store display, but it has all the internal parts. Yeah. Um, so basically, they yeah. just used to make the store displays. They just use the regular equipment right off the line for real V2 superchargers. The only thing that's different is it has a metal base that's built on it, and that thing weighs several hundred pounds and does fit in the back of a Model S. Yep. Because that's how I moved it. Um, let's see. Um, uh, somebody said I put you in timeout, but I didn't tie you up with a seatbelt this time. He took the seatbelt off himself. Yeah. We'll say that. Yeah. Oh, see, and Ann was wondering how to pronounce it. See, a lot of people don't know how to pronounce it, but we just pronounce Derek. Yep. So, and basically where that comes from, I'm David, that's Eric, and combined our channel is Derek. Boom. So I know that some people, like Elon came and named his kid, and then, you know, the character is called Ash in some languages. But no, we, we've been using that for like four years at least. And Basically, Elon loved us so much. He used the AE to name from his our child name after us. Yes. in his child's name to honor us. And we're yes. flattered, Elon. Thank you, Elon, yes. Thank you so much. I will more than... Be willing to be yeah. the but godfather. It's just, but it's just Derek. It's not De Eric or Day Eric or Day Ash Eric. It's just, it's just Derek. Yep. Uh, Matt said, what do you guys do for a living? So I, my day job is actually biotech, but I have a few other companies that I own. And I write web applications, web websites. So there you go. Uh, stay very busy, though. Absolutely love it. That's why I love live streams. It's a way for us to kind of like not have to worry about too much and still interact with everybody. Um, Alex said, taking delivery of a Model 3 performance next week, anything I should know before then? Um, enjoy it, because you're going to love it. They're awesome cars. Um, I don't think there's really anything in particular. Uh, if you aren't familiar with like the center screen or anything, we have a center screen kind of rundown. Yeah. It's listed on a Model Y, but it's... Um, the same thing basically for uh, model three so i would check that out um let me take care of this real quick um boom um drip hard fred said does tesla know if they need to use the backup design of the cybertruck um i don't think they're gonna have to use it i don't think we're ever gonna even see what that backup design was i think it is uh, gone for good because they don't, I don't think they ever are going to need it. Um, U16 Oxygen said pharmaceutical. Um, no, uh, it's a very specific fine, uh, thing that I do. Um, I'm trying to think, I normally just say biotech because if I actually say what it is, a lot of people will be able to find me really easy. Um, so it's, it's not preclinical, but it's, it's, Close. We'll say that. Preclinical is what I used to do. Um, yeah. Let's see. I think we are actually caught up. And we have been live for an hour and 45 minutes. <clears throat> so I think that's actually going to kind of cut it for tonight. Um, I still have some video editing to do for tomorrow's video. Make sure you check and that we gotta out. we got to figure out the situation um, with the microwave. because And we got to <laughs> figure out how the microwave blew up and why yeah. it, the whole house smells now. So that's yeah. great. 
So um, we will see you all next week, though. Um, we have when so battery day is nine days away. Yep. So our live stream schedule is going to be. I don't know if we'll be on the 20th. We might be on the 19th next week. Yeah. So I would say this, though. We might, the 19th is still going to be up in the air because we might just wait and do battery day as our next live stream because that's the 22nd. Um, so keep an eye out. Maybe we'll be here the 19th. Maybe we'll wait till battery day. Either way, though, we will have some videos oh, coming up. Another quick John. Um, oh, John chat, with a $2 chat. super chat. Awesome. Thank you very much. Said, uh, which one of you two would win at an arm wrestling? I would say wrestling? Eric. <laughs> I don't know. We've never arm wrestled. But I we him. never have oh, arm wrestled. See, I've been using computers and playing computer games my entire life and kind of got some... It's not carpal tunnel, but it's, you know, it doesn't... It's not the best. And so I'm going to say that Eric's probably better on the arm wrestling there. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, it looks like it's about time to go. Yeah, we got people doing all kinds of spams and chat and everything. Um, thank you for the $2 super chat, John. Uh, really do appreciate that. Um, but thank you all for hanging out with us. Hopefully you all had fun. Definitely stay safe out there. Um, and if you own a Tesla, enjoy it. And definitely go drive that a little bit. But yeah, as always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. Sorry, I was on David's cam this whole time. Oops. My bad. Um, <laughs> thank you to Abstract Ocean for our, being our channel sponsor. If you guys are looking to accessorize your model SX3 NY, definitely check them out using code Tesla Inventory, which you 15% off. And new product drops tomorrow for Model 3 and Model Y rear passenger footwell lights. So definitely check that out today. I agree, Diego. A lot of spam going on today. I don't know why. We'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, uh, really appreciate everyone hanging out. And we will see you all next week. Bye.